Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this HP Pavilion X360. The model number is 15-BR019NA and it is one of these um, 360 degree convertible uh, laptops and it has an issue with its hard drive. So if we look at the actual error message itself, it's basically saying that um, the, the boot drive cannot be found and um, that's basically an in indication that something wrong with the hard disk. So we're going to go into the hard drive and replace it with a solid state drive most likely. Um, so we'll be able to sort this issue out and then get a much faster computer, I hope. So um, I haven't seen many videos online of how to dismantle this. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to turn off the computer fully first. And then we're going to flip it over onto its back. Okay, so basically we have the three screws at the bottom here, which I'm going to undo now. Then we need to go under this um, these covers to get the screws underneath here. And uh, normally to get these out, I just use a spudger to pull this out. It's going to use a screwdriver, a stronger magnet to pull these out. Then we have um, this screw under the sticker here, so we need to just kind of pull this one out. There's this um, sticker here that we need to remove, and then we can get to this final screw here. There we go. And um, then what we need to do is basically spudge the bottom of this case out. So we have this kind of um, plastic here, which we need to use a spudger to lift out. You can also completely fold it like this, then I can get to the actual edge properly. much mostly out now. Let's have a look at the inside. Okay, so we've got these um, two cables connecting the top case to the motherboard. So I'm just going to pull that one out. And then we've got one underneath here to see if there's an easier way to do this. I think lifting from the other edge. Then we've got the uh, connector here, which we're going to pull out. And then we can remove our keyboard case. And now we can see the hard drive caddy here. So we can take out this hard drive and, you know, see what's wrong with it. Um, so this is not screwed in, it's just, um, has this kind of uh, silicon caddy, which is kind of squeezing it in. And uh, obviously we need to remove this to get to the actual hard drive. This is the uh, SATA connector, which looks like it's actually connected into the into this. So let's try to remove this silicon caddy. And then uh, I think we're gonna have to remove all this silver tape. Let's have a look. So um, that tape goes around that, and then we've got the SATA connector, which I'm just going to pull out. Okay, so that's the hard drive taken out. It's a Seagate mobile hard drive, one terabyte. Um, these things are pretty notorious for failing pretty quickly. I mean, and it says here, like, replace with an HP spare, but any kind of 2.5 inch hard drive is going to fit. 
So um, what we're going to do now is install the solid state drive. So I've got myself a uh, Kingston 120 gigabyte. Let's see if this works. So all I'm going to do is to attach the caddy. It's kind of a silicon caddy. So it's got these uh, tabs which go into the normal screw mounts. Just going to insert them into there. And then we're going to put it on this side too. Good. And then uh, connect it up to the SATA cable. And then that should just slide straight into this. Okay, that's nice and secure now. So um, all we've got to do is put back these two keyboard connectors and then snap this. And then uh, we just, all we need to do now is put back the two keyboard connectors and then snap this back into place and we can just test this out. So this is just a case of um, connecting this one first. So we lift up the little tab, insert this cable like so. And then um, we we'll do the same, but the other way. So lift up the tab there. pushes into that and we pull the tab down and then I'm just going to snap this back into place so that it's not in the way okay. so I've got my USB stick prepared already I've used the Windows 10 media creator to do this so I'm going to insert this into a USB slot and then we're going to do the standard boot. So I'm just going to switch it on. So anyway, the operating system has loaded from the USB stick and it's just going to install Windows 10. All I've done is just press continue, continue, and this is going to be a fully functional computer. It's going to be running much faster with the solid state drive. And um, it's obviously going to be functional compared to the old hard drive, which is completely dead. And um, this is a substantial upgrade for this uh, rather old computer now. Um, anyway, I hope you found this little repair video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.